In Jamaica, it was the return of the booted two. Ousted opposition senators Dr. Christopher Tufton and Arthur Williams returned to the Senate on Friday following a ruling from the Constitutional Court that their dismissal was unlawful. Tanika Thomas was at Friday sitting off the upper house. All eyes were on Friday's sitting of the upper house. Would ousted opposition senators Dr. Christopher Tufton and Arthur Williams show up? Both men were booted from the Senate in November 2013 by opposition leader Andrew Holness using pre-signed, undated resignation letters. However, last week the Constitutional Court ruled that Mr. Holness's actions were illegal. The Opera House convenes weekly at 10 a.m., but the House was visibly empty at 10 Friday morning. About 40 minutes later, government senators huddled in, but still no opposition senators. JLP senators would only trickle in later. Leading the way, Senator Marlene Malahu Fort. Noticeably absent were replacement Senators Ruel Reed and Dr. Nigel Clark. Instead, rejected Senators Dr. Tufton and Mr. Williams returned to their seats quite satisfied. However, there remains some uncertainty. While the court ruled that the removal of the former senators were ill-advised, the judgment was, however, silent on their replacements. So what will transpire from here? Will Senators Dr. Christopher Tufton and Arthur Williams be allowed to take their positions in the Senate? Senate President Floyd Morris gave the way forward. The question of membership has arisen sub as a reason, subject to 44.1 of the Constitution of Jamaica and Section 3 of the Parliament Membership Question Act, the matter is required to be referred to the Supreme Court for determination. Because of the ambiguity surrounding the issue, both Senator Williams and Tufton were also barred by Senate President Floyd Morris from making statements at the chamber on Friday. The men were displeased. I hold the view that Senator Tufton and I have full rights today as members of the Senate in view of the ruling of the Supreme Court, the Constitutional Court, and the Attorney General's directions. And so we are not able to make our statement today. Are you satisfied with the explanation given by the Senate President? No, I'm not. Why, is it, why not? Because I think that the ruling of the Constitutional Court and the directions of the Attorney General are abundantly clear. I was particularly disappointed, as Arthur has said, with the handling of our presence in the House by the President. We had some discussions prior to the start of the session and he insisted that we not be allowed to speak. Now, I'm not here as a half senator. I'm here as a full senator. Otherwise, I would not have the legitimacy to be here. And we find that objectionable. One could have created a scene if one wanted to, but I felt, or we felt, that it was important to get the critical issue of sitting out of the way Dr. Tufton insists there is no bad blood between him and his JLP colleagues. He's also pleased with the court's ruling to sanction his return. Having not commented much initially on the way things have played out, that I'm going to subscribe to the rule of law. And I'm not going to challenge the, 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 the judges, the three judges who concluded on this matter. And certainly, particularly having had it reinforced by the legal advisor of the government, so I am pleased that to the extent that there were objections raised about our presence, that we have been able to deal with that situation and Arthur and myself were able to sit. And I think that augurs well, hopefully, for the future and certainly for the democracy and good governance of the country and for the legal system. Tanika Thomas reporting for CNN Caribbean News. Meanwhile, leader of government business in the Senate, A.J. Nicholson read a motion outlining the issues which Senate is seeking clarification. Arthur Williams and Dr. Christopher Tufton subsisting members of the Senate in accordance with the Constitution of Jamaica. B. If the answer to A above is yes, were the purported appointments of Dr. Nigel Clark and Mr. Ruel Reed as members of the Senate 
Nolan Boyd and see if the answer to A above is no were the purported appointments of Dr. Nigel Clark and Mr. Ruel Reed as members of the Senate valid and effective and do they remain members of the Senate in accordance with the Constitution of Jamaica? And at least one senator has accepted that his tenure in the Senate has come to an end. Dr. Nigel Clark issued a statement on Thursday signaling his acceptance of the court's ruling. In a statement, Dr. Clark said he has heard the recent decision of the Constitutional Court and the Attorney General Patrick Atkinson. He said, quote, While I accept that there may be differing views on this important matter that I may ultimately prevail, I have taken note of this opinion, end quote. Dr. Clark says he accepted the invitation to serve his country and since receiving the instrument of appointment from the Governor General Sir Patrick Allen in November 2013, it was a privilege for him to serve. So how has the recent controversy affected the JLP? There are speculations that the developments have plugged holes into opposition leader Andrew Holness's credibility. There is also an alleged plot orchestrated by MP for North East St. Andrew Delroy Chuck to remove Holness as party leader. That question was put to Dr. Christopher Tufton. No, any, any issue related to our relations, we will work out together internally. Thank you.